welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about a car not cycle so generally that will be established in 1824 by sadi car not so the concept of heat engine working on a reversible cycle called as a car not cycles so basically that will be invented into 1824th of century by a carnot so what it say no cycle can be more efficient than a reversible cycle operating between same temperature limits so during a carnot cycle that will be made some kind of assumptions behind the theory and let us see the different kind of assumptions take place into a Carnot cycle. So first over here working fluid it will be considering as a perfect gas. Second piston cylinder arrangement or you can say it will be weightless and there is no friction between the movement of a piston into a cylinder so basically that will be a uh, practically is not possible third one wall of piston and cylinder is perfectly insulated so once again that will be also considering as a theoretical assumptions but practically that will be next to impossible theory then once again more compression and expansion are reversible but practically it will be also not possible last one heat transfer does not change temperature of the source and sinks so in general way there will be the no loss of a energy during the process so once again that will be practically not possible so that all are the assumptions that will be taken by Carnot and making some of the relations or can say theories. So for here in a Carnot cycle basically four processes is going on. So first one is a isothermal expansion process. So that will be generally occurs into one to two points. So let us see one to two so here it will be the one point or you can say initial position two two number over here so just you can see from the diagram one so isothermal so two over here then three So here 1 to 2 that will be considering as a isothermal expansion process 2 to 3 that will be considering as a adiabatic expansion process and once again 3 to 4 over here that will be considering as a isothermal compression process and once again that will be 
एडियाबेटिक कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस सेस फ्रॉम द साइकल फर्स्ट आइसोथर्मल एक्सपांशन वन टू टू सो जस्ट यू कैन सी दैट फ्रॉम दिस फिगर और कैन से पिस्टन सिलेंडर मैकेनिज्म सो इन दैट फर्स्ट केस the source of heat is applied to the end of the cylinder and isothermally expansion occurs at a t1 temperature during the process heat q1 is supplied to the system so basically 1 to 2 that will be you can say constant टेम्परेचर हीट एडेड टू द सीस्टम सो ड्यू टू डेट एनर्जी दिस पिस्टन और यू कैन से मूव टू वन टू टू पोजिशन सेकेंड प्रोसेस दैट विल बी एडियाबेटिक एक्सपांशन प्रोसेस so here this cylinder it will be act as a insulator cylinder so second process that will be the adiabatic expansion process so this region adiabatic expansion so the system is allowed to expand to the 2.23 point so during that that will be at temperature t2 over here after the adiabatic expansion process once again piston now it will be at point number 4 so once again the isothermal compression process so at temperature t2 or you can say sink temperature that will be transferring the heat q2 so 3 to 4 process is representing as a isothermal compression process once again from this point once again adiabatic compression take place between 4 to 1 process so here so in that case cycle it will be once again at at original state or you can say temperature is increasing from t2 to t1 so that manners cycle is completely rotations or you can see that from the diam diagram so 1 2 3 that will be a expansion and 3 to once again from the 1 that will be representing as a compression so basically what happen for the adiabatic process so generally when your starting process heat is taken from a higher temperature and due to that that will be the isothermal expansion from 1 to 2 process at two point or you can say in the case of adiabatic expansion process so this adiabatic cover it will be into the picture and that will be a system is allowed to free expand from 2 to 3 process once again that will be taken a he rejected in the form of t2 and finally for 4 to 1 process once again adiabatic cover it will be in contact with the one of the end of the cylinders so basically for carnot cycle two isothermal process and two adiabatic process is occurs so basically that will be the basic theory of carnot cycles but practically that will be next to impossible process so let's see the efficiency of carnot cycle 
so basically considering 1 kg of working substance so 1 kg of working substance over here so just you can start with the first one and that will be 1 to 2 process and that will be called as a iso thermal expansion process so in the case of isothermal expansion process heat q1 that will be p1 v1 log of e v2 upon v1 so just that will be converting into m r t1 so m is considering as a 1 so here r t1 log of e v2 upon v1 so that will be the first 1 to 2 process as isothermal expansion process so now see from 3 to 4 process or you can say isothermal compression process so similarly Q2 and here Q1 P3 V3 log of E V4 divided by V3 once again M T two over here because that will be from the adiabatic process temperature T1 to T2 so Q2 that will be RT2 log of E V4 minus V4 upon V3 but in case of adiabatic process here two to three and four to one so the heat transform that will be zero because in case of adiabatic process there is no heat transform from the system to surroundings or surrounding to systems so that will be becoming zero so here small r that will be the expansion ratio for process 1 to 2 and that would be representing as a v2 upon v1 and similarly for 3 to 4 process that will be represent as a v4 upon v3 process so by substituting this v2 upon v1 and v4 upon v3 into these two equations so q1 that will be equal to rt1 log of e to r and q2 that will be rt2 log of e into r so that r it will be representing as a ratio of volumes so now we all know the relations of work done and that will be q 
supply minus q rejected so for here that q1 it will be supplied at constant temperature so that should be r t1 log of e r minus r t2 log of e r so basically r log of e r and that will be t1 minus t2 so that will be the work done now i am interested to find out an efficiency that will be work done divided by heat supply so here r of log of e r t1 minus t2 divided by that will be heat supply and that will be heat rejected so r log of e into r into t1 so r log e r log e that will be cancel out so here t1 upon t2 divided by t1 so that would be a thermal efficiency or you can say 1 minus t2 upon t1 so here t1 that will be a maximum temperature t2 minimum temperature so let us see some of the limitations of carnot cycle and that will be here it will be called as a hypothetical cycle so practically not possible efficiency only depends upon t1 and t2 not on to the which substance is being used for that cycle so the practically is not possible impossible to make a perfect insulator materials and surrounded by the cylinders isothermal and adiabatic process during same stroke it will be never possible so for that isothermal generally piston slowly moves but in case of adiabatic piston rapidly or fast moves but practically it will be next to impossible and output obtained per cycle is very small so that there are so many limitations of and carnot cycles so that will be only the theoretical concept of and carnot cycles so if you like it then subscribe share and thank you very much mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials